So here is the uh, stock lifter versus this aftermarket solid one piece that uh, I got. Now there isn't a ton of difference. You can see there is a bit of a shape difference in the front. There are some, I wouldn't call them sharp, maybe slightly uncomfortable edges that you may cut yourself on. This one doesn't really have any of that. It's uh, it's lighter, it seems, than the stock piece. I didn't really find a video about this exactly, so I'm going to be making a video on how to get this lifter out of here and this aftermarket one piece in here. So first thing here is to get this. Again, this is specific to the Benelli M4, not the Stoger. First thing you want to do is get this. You're just going to lift this spring, it's gonna pop out, and now there's no more tension on the lifter. Next thing here is to get this C-clip off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a screwdriver and lift it off. Now what you're gonna need here is like a jeweler's screwdriver, something really, really fine. There's a slight gap underneath this clip, in between the clip and the stock lifter. And I would recommend, so you don't bend this, is that you just ease it up on all sides before it comes up. That way you limit the bending. Don't lose this. They're easy to lose. So get your hammer forward. You want to ease it forward. Don't let it slam if you can avoid it. And the next piece you got to take out is this. There's a little um, spring in here, so we'll get a screwdriver, this spring, up and over to the side. And then now this pin here that was there, this side, will come out just like that. And then your hammer spring, there's the cap, and the hammer spring comes out. Set it there. The hammer spring was just sitting right here. Now your hammer comes out, and then there's the lifter and the little, there's a little pin here, again this is easy to lose, that sits in that hole, and then this like, it's like a connector, that comes out as well. So comparing these two, fighter, tactical, worry-free, solid one piece, you can tell from the factory, I don't know if you can visualize that. That's almost got like a, uh, it looks like a surface little stress point or something. So the factory one weighs maybe about twice as much as the stainless steel aftermarket one. Slightly different shape. This is a little extended here. Uh, this is machined better, this aftermarket piece. It's also a little shorter on this side of it. Pretty much the same angle, just slightly different. And it's much, the interior grooves at least are smoother. And then this area too is smoother. So highly polished, really nice stainless steel, lightweight. This must be like an anodized feels stronger than aluminum, but... So, this is the orientation that you want this piece. There's a pin here. This pin can only sit flush in one direction. So when you when you look at this piece, it's, it's smaller on this side than on this side. And this pin here, which is not staked on the Benelli M4, on the Stoger one it is. So this thing just falls out. So this is the uh, orientation that you want it in. So next step is to get this. You're gonna have to, it's a little bit tight, so you're gonna have to get it from the underside and maneuver it into place, and it should sit right over that hole, and that pin will be captured so it won't fall out on that side. So from here, 
drop your hammer spring in, your hammer cap, hammer spring cap, then your hammer, so the next thing is to take this piece with the spring and line those up with the hammer and the lifter. This uh, pin only goes one way and it's on this side. So you'll have to wiggle everything sorted together to try to find where the correct spot is. And the good thing about the Benelli is that the hammer spring is not really in play at this moment. So once that's all lined up, it should pop through. Remember the capped part goes on the side with the red dot and that's all together now hammer uh, spring is captured so make sure you get this pin seated all the way there should be enough of a lip there to where we can take this c-clip and get it placed back over spring pliers were necessary for this portion of the job so this is probably the trickiest part is getting the c-clip back on so what i did is I took my offhand and support this pin to keep it from pushing out and then hold the side of the clip itself to keep it positioned and then get your spring pliers and without scratching your lifter get it in position in there and then position your hand to be able to use your thumb to spread the c-clip and once you get it right, it'll pop down and over, and it shouldn't be too bad. But I thought that was uh, the trickiest portion so far. So the last piece here is going to be this spring. And what you're going to need to do is, there's a cap to it, so just line it up with this pin here that's inside the tree. Don't remove this. You don't need to. There's, there's a little circle um, that's captured in here and what you need to do is just pinch helps to have a little bit of nails I guess you could use pliers but that could damage it you can get it uh, it will work just got to be patient with it pinch the crown there's a little crown here pinch that push it in to where you get enough of this metal bar pin exposed on the back side here and then it'll tuck in there's a groove on the other side of this and it will tuck in and it'll be fine the last thing we have to do is get that bar pin over the side so the last thing is this spring you just got to bring it up and over this edge I just used my little jewelers flathead put it in there and popped it over and now it works next thing you need to do is a function check lifter works fine safety That works. Hammer check. That works. And then this to make sure you seated the pin right. Put the hammer back. And this should be under tension. So that's finished. Um, I put a tiny bit of lube on here and then uh, get it back inside. So make sure your trigger pin is out. So I got that seated. Make sure the trigger pin is all the way down, flush. You can depress the bolt release on this side and do a little function check. That works. Let's try to get the hammer down. Got the hammer down, that seats, everything is seated. And we are good to go. Next thing would be to put the bolt in. So last thing, got it all put together is a function check so as you're pulling the bolt back you should see that your lifter would push the round onto the bolt and then lock once you tell the gun that it's loaded so really nice piece Compared to the, the color, this is like a anodized bronze or something. So 
real quick reloads. You're not going to hang up on this thing. Stainless steel, super high quality, machined perfectly. Very happy with that. Easy install. Let me know if you guys have questions.